overall goal of the Apple Heart Study was to better understand how a smartwatch is able to detect an irregular pulse and then guide clinical practice to uh, understand uh, how to make a diagnosis such as atrial fibrillation based on that. We were able to re recruit over 400,000 participants into a study that had a completely novel uh, virtual study design. Participants were able to download an application and enroll in the study digitally. They then wore their watch, and if there was an irregular pulse, they were notified to contact a study visit doctor. After an interview through the application, they were instructed to wear an ECG patch monitor if they qualified. We found that over the course of approximately eight months, 0.5% of the participants had an irregular pulse notification. And in fact, in the younger population, those less than 40 years of age, that rate was 0.16%. In those who did get a notification and did wear their ECG uh, patch monitor, we found that 34% of those participants had atrial fibrillation identified. And when we looked at the correlation between an irregular uh, pulse notification and simultaneous wear of an ECG patch, uh, we found that 84% of the time when somebody had an irregular pulse notification, they also had concordant atrial fibrillation found on ECG patch monitoring. We also found that the participants who were notified and then filled out a survey reported that 57% of the time they were able to contact a health provider outside of the study. We believe that the results of this study really are going to help more than anything inform clinicians as to how to interpret a patient that comes in after an irregular pulse notification. That clinician, we think, should take into account the irregular pulse notification along with their examination, their history, and other clinical factors to determine what is best for that patient going forward. We believe that the Apple Heart Study has provided information not just on how to manage or guide uh, clinical uh, care in the future, but uh, it also has given us information that will help us design the research studies that we need to see how we can integrate this digital data into clinical practice.